we have brooms. Oh, <laughs> uh, I woke up to this, guys. Um, I didn't even see anything, honestly. I didn't... I just turned my game on uh, during work, and... That little... I mean, you all saw it. That little thing saying, uh, thank you so much. This is a gift. Thank you so much. Here are the Mickey and Brooms. Bam! There they are. So hey guys, how's it going? This is the erroneous one here with a brand new Kingdom Hearts Unchained Key magical update video. Um, this is a f this is really cool. So I mean, I'll go to Cena. Well, up to a point, and I'll explain why. I'll go to Cena when they announced at PAX East that we were gonna get Mickey and Brooms coming to the game. I was like, yay! But when? Because they're like, yeah, you're gonna get them coming soon. It's like, okay, well, what is coming soon to you guys? Is that gonna be the anniversary next month? Is that gonna be you know, two months down the line, you know, is it going to be next year? Like, oh, no, no, we're just going to, you know, drop you guys one uh, a few days later after the end of PAX East. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> there was that. That's pretty cool, guys. Um, this is really, really neat. Uh, it's awesome that we have them. If you guys want, I'll go ahead and just, you know, pop down here and show you guys mine. There is mine. He is locked. I have that thing locked. That's the first thing I did. I picked him up from my, from my uh, presence listing, and I locked him down tight. And I'm not going to touch him for a while, at least until I get two. Um, the first metal I intend to use this guy on uh, is going to be my Jack and Sally. Uh, and this is for me personally. Um, where is my Jack and Sally? It is somewhere. There he is. They are. So I'm two away from guilting that one. So that's going to be the one that I'm going to choose to uh, guilt first with the uh, Mickey and Brooms when they're finally released. Or the Fantasia Mickey B. Uh, whatever. I do like, if you guys saw that, this is kind of funny to me. It's, is this... They were saying that they're going to get more communicative, and I do like that. Uh, and they, and it kind of shows that not only in their Twitter feed for the most part, but actually in the actual game itself, they're, they're getting a little more personalized with us and getting a little more um, get, get, getting more communicative, which is great. Uh, first off, in this one, they called us players as opposed to customers like last time, which is, that was nice to see. Um, a lot of people did not, did not like being called customers by them, especially, as we, especially with the way we were being treated. And... Still kind of are being treated up to a point um, with that. It's nice to say it's nice that they call us players. It does show that they're trying to make a change up to a point, at least in terms of how they're talking to us. Um, but one thing too, I did like this. Um, as of March 14, 2017, at 4 a.m., uh, we have sent all players a Fantasia Mickey B medal, colloquially, colloquially, blah blah blah. I'm sorry, colloquially referred to as Mickey and Brooms. I like that they actually said that. That amused me. That I saw that in there, that they're going, okay, you know, no one calls it Fantasia Mickey B, they call it Mickey and Brooms. Um, <laughs> it made, made me laugh. So, it does seem like they're getting more communicative, and that's awesome. I do like that. Um, I do want people to realize something, though, uh, and, and this is, this is great. This is amazing. I'm glad for it. I take nothing away from this. This is, this is really, really awesome. But I do want people to be aware of the fact, too, that, um, the uh, the medals, the ability to get the medal aside from this gift is not in the game uh, just yet. Uh, right in here, as you guys can see, uh, that's the that's the last spot, guys. There's not a spot there for the broom servants. Um, the way they're actually fused is you take one Fantasia uh, Mickey A, you fuse it with five broom servants, and it turns into a Fantasia Mickey B, uh, also known as Mickey and, and Brooms. Um, so we don't have that in the game just yet. Uh, it's just a gift, a one-time gift so far that they dropped to us, which is an awesome gift. I, again, take nothing away from that. This is an amazing gift. Um, but just be aware of that. Uh, they're not quite in the game just yet, but this is definitely an awesome step in the right direction. I imagine, um, I'm hoping pretty soon that we'll get some more updates again too that will give us more metal slots for a high score challenge, and that maybe we'll also get more metal slots for the broom servants to also show up as well too. Um, in the JP side of the game, I know that there's all kinds of different ways that you can get Mickey and Mops or broom servants. Um, I've seen them done through pools before, which I I'm not sure if that was just like a, a regular pool that they once they're in the game you have a chance of pulling one in a in a in a pool. I'm not sure about that one, but I do know for a fact that they, they do come in the avatar boards. They do come in, uh, they do come in, um, Coliseum events, uh, they come in VIP quest, so, uh, and, and they also come in daily challenge quests too as well. So they're gonna come in the game in all sorts of manner, uh, coming out pretty quickly. Um, I'm really, I have high hopes now for Anniversary that, um, we're gonna get, actually have the Broom Servants available to us and the ability to start fusing our, um, start fusing them to make more of them, um. 
by anniversary, hopefully. That'd be pretty cool. Um, I, I wouldn't mind. I mean, I know we're due at least one, one more Avatar board set, uh, probably coming up next week or the week after. Um, I believe it is, and I'm hoping that we'll see something like that in there. That'd be that'd be great to see them in there. Um, but that that Mickey and Brooms, guys. Mickey and Brooms is here in the game. <laughs> this is <laughs> this is really awesome. I mean, like I said, I was. I got to work and I saw that kind of froze and people are you okay and I was like yeah yeah no I'm good I I I am really good right now um so yeah guys there we go this is a quick update for that one um it is the Mickey and Brooms they are here uh oh it's it's great to see them in the game um even again even though this is just a gift even though it's just a one off so far even though even though the ability to get them in the game isn't actually in the game yet this is a step in the right direction and high hopes that they're coming soon. Again, hopefully by anniversary. Anniversary is shaping up to be um, pretty big. Uh, it's shaping to be, to be pretty, pretty big. And I'm really glad to see that we're starting to get things uh, moving around in that direction. Um, I have high hopes for anniversary. Uh, I hope I'm not gonna I'm not overhyping it for myself nor other players. Um, but I'm really looking forward to this one. It's gonna be good. Uh, there is one more update I did want to go over real quick that I feel is not as important, obviously, I, I, there isn't an update right now that's as important as Mickey and Brooms, aside from that uh, guaranteed Tier 4, Tier 5 banner. Um, they did release a new thrill, uh, Skills to Thrill deal, guys, with Attack Boost 2, with plus, Attack Price plus, uh, Attack Boost 3, uh, plus, 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 and Second Chance. <sighs> do not pull from this banner. Unless you do not have a second chance. The only thing that's worth pulling for anybody right now. Okay, that I would say this in there needing right now is a second chance. If you don't have a second chance medal. If you're a new, newish player. And you just haven't had a chance to get to get a second chance medal from another another event before. Or from like a Coliseum event before. If you do not have a second chance. It's okay to pull one time, I think, for this, just because of that. I think that it would help you guys out a lot to have Second Chance. Second Chance is a game-changing skill. It's going to give you one more turn, uh, potentially, if you once you're KO'd by an enemy, to potentially finish it off. Um, and that cannot be overlooked. It, it just can't. So, if you pull once for that one because you don't have one, then that's good. If you already have Second Chance, hold off. We don't know what we're going to get from new Avatar boards coming out. We don't know what we're going to get for Anniversary. I'm, anniversary, I'm sure, is going to be loaded with all kinds of uh, old skills and new skills. I'm sure they'll release as well during the Anniversary event, too. So we're going to have other chances to get these uh, to get these skills, um, I'm pretty sure, in Anniversary. And again, coming forward through um, other events like Coliseum and such going forward. So please, please, this is, I mean, don't pull from this. This is, this is nothing but a gigantic money trap for pre-anniversary um just don't do it i mean just save your jewels save your anniversary uh and we'll go from there uh i'm gonna try and get a some kind of like a closer anniversary some kind of concrete guide uh for when and what they plan on releasing during anniversary because that's also going to depend upon um what you're going to spend on too as well during the time period the anniversary event from uh from what i'm understanding from the jp side lasted the entire month so their entire their their anniversary month it lasted the entire four weeks of the month. I imagine that we're going to get the same thing for April. It's probably going to start April 1st going all the way through April 31st. So it's going to be around for a while. Um, what is that April 31st or that April 1st? Uh, April 30th, I'm sorry. April 1st to April 30th. Um, it's going to last for a four-week time period. And obviously, I mean, I'm sure each week or like every four or five days or so, roughly thereabouts, you know, on Mondays and Thursdays when they release the Twitter notifications, they're going to be releasing different deals. And I don't know what they are yet. And there may be some that I would like, you know, I may go, oh, I want to spend on this one. And I go spend on that one and then go, oh, man, this banner that just got released like, you know, four or five days later is actually a little bit better. And I wish I'd saved more resources for this banner as opposed to spending on the previous banner. So I'm going to try my best uh, the closer we get to that one. To give you guys a more concrete um, scheduling for what for what and when they plan to release their deals come anniversary, but that's for the future. That's at least two two and a half weeks in the future, roughly. Um, no, two weeks. No, just over two weeks. Um, in the future, so we'll get to that when we get to that, and I'll do my best for that one. But other than that, guys, like I said, man, we got Mickey and Brooms now. It's a very special thank you gift for the Pax East event and everything. There it is. It isn't. It is there. Awesome gift. Not quite in the game just yet, but very close. So, 
Mm, I'm, again, it's very exciting. It was it was amazing thing to see this morning. I haven't been this hyped for the game um, in a while, honestly. Um, I mean, I thought I was kind of excited about that tier, uh, guaranteed tier four and tier five banner. Um, I mean, I was like, I wasn't like ecstatic about it. I was like, this, this is pretty cool. Um, this I'm, I am absolutely ecstatic about. I'm, it's amazing to see this because this one little thing changes a lot of stuff in the game um, going forward. Uh, now, granted, like I said, there there are going to be times when these Mickey and Brooms are going to be behind paywall as well. So I want people to be aware of that one too. Um, like I said, they are behind VIP quest, which means you spend that $15 to do the VIP quest. They are locked up in the high high ranking rewards for Coliseum. And if you um, don't spend money to get the better medals to rank higher in Coliseum, it's going to be harder to get them. They're going to be high score challenge rewards. Again, you need to spend money on the high score challenge in order to rank high enough to start receiving rewards like this. Um, so just because they're in the game doesn't mean they're going to be easily accessible to everybody just yet. Uh, and even when they are in the game, it's going to be how are they releasing the game too. That's going to be important um, going forward. So I want people to be aware of that one um, as well too. Like don't don't take away your excitement, but be prepared for that one. You know, but how they're going to be released and in what kind of quantity are they going to be, be released in too. That's also going to be pretty, pretty impactful. Um, the easiest way probably going to be for them, uh, for most players, uh, unfortunately, is going to be through the VIP quest. I know that JP just got a VIP quest. They got the Magic Mirror VIP and the Broom Servant VIP. So, you know, you spend that 15 bucks and you start getting Magic Mirrors and you start getting the Broom Servants and such from the uh, VIP quest. Uh, I hope that we get something like that pretty soon. But that's going to be the easiest way probably um, as opposed to trudging your way through a high score challenge or through Coliseum and such in order to get these for most players. Uh, that, that's just what that's just what I've seen so far, and of course, as we as they start being released in the game, we'll get a more concrete, solid idea as to how we're going to get them and then what kind of quantity we're going to get. But like I said, guys, they're here now. It's 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 starting up. Um, things are getting ready for anniversary, and it's it's a pretty good time to be in the game. It's, it's the game almost the game honestly almost seems revitalized with this one medal showing up. Cause, I mean, I mean, a lot of people who are who are still playing the game and such. I, you know, on my Discord group and everything, they're a lot more lively. They're all talking about this. You know, it's getting out there. So this is this is awesome. So thank you, Cena, for the gift. I appreciate it. Um, I doubt you guys watch my videos or anything. Um, if you guys do, though, uh, thank you. Appreciate it. Um, other than that, you guys uh, take care. Um, save that Mickey and Broom. Or if you guys have a particular medal you guys want to fuse it into that you've been waiting for for a while that will change your game, you know, I guess go ahead and use it uh, if you need to. I mean, that is what it's there for. Um... But I wouldn't use it unless it's going to be a medal that is going to, you know, impact your game a lot. It is going to be like a huge, huge, huge game changer. It's going to push you up to that next level um, is what I would save the Mickey and Broom for. So, but that, again, thanks for watching, guys. You guys have a great night. Enjoy. Enjoy your Mickey and Broom.